where we left off. So we got ourselves a safe room, which is very important. The black wart room. Got ourselves a safe room. We're gonna continue just like trying to avoid as much as possible in terms of like fighting. Uh, yeah, sure. Pick up grenade shells. Okay, I didn't mean to get stuck there. That just sort of happened. Ow! Ow! It's fine. We just saved. We literally just saved. So if something happens, it'll be okay. Okay, so we just have a blue hallway. It's locked. It requires a key. The door is labeled room 0512. Well, that sounds important. Defective. What room is this? This is the dark apartment. Lock is defective. Lock is not defective. Let's leave. Yeah, they're definitely, like, reusing assets, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. Like, it gives you this sense of, like, I've done, you know, everything is the same as everything is the same. As everything is the same as everything is the same, you know? Which I'm 100% sure is intentional. So there's the atrium, and there's another door there. So that's defective. That's defective. It's not a cheap reuse. No, no, no. This is this is absolutely a we're in a cycle reuse. Which I think is actually pretty decent. Like saying, oh hey, we're intentionally reusing assets and stuff to make a point about the cyclical nature of things. Picture of a magpie on the box with looks like a small speaker or a microphone. Teacher's evaluation, Arion Yon. The girl, without a doubt, is remarkably odd, certainly due to her being raised solely by her mother, rather than by a community of good people overseen by a block warden, as is normal these days. Her obsession with paintings, music, and other such nonsense was clearly implanted during her time living in the mountains on that desolate radio outpost, and surely her friendship with those Venetan-born Ito sisters also exposed her to some of the a questionable literature that is illegally sold in their parents' bookstore. She does not seem to understand that these distractions are no longer acceptable now that she must partake in a society of our nation like anyone else. Personally, I can only hope military service will beat those frivolous ideas out of her in a way that the school has failed to do so far. Well, that's not great, is it? Awkward. What was our radio frequencies? 52? I was kind of hoping that those would be different. So magpie box. I was kind of hoping that those would be different and like it would say magpie, you know? Hi, Rocket Bubble. Just started watching my Fallen Order playthrough. Great time. Nice. I really enjoyed Jedi Fallen Order. I wish that Survivor had like had a more focused narrative, but I felt myself getting bored and lost with it. 
I'm glad you're enjoying it, though. I, I'm always glad to hear people going through the older content and having a good time with it. Those were, those were pretty fun. Not gonna lie. Okay, I don't have any space to carry that. Good to know. Okay, so... We can go this way? There's a crank there. Monfest celebrations canceled over safety concerns. The seasonal Monfest celebration, a young but well-established tradition in most rot front sectors, will not be allowed to take place until further notice the Protector Public Office has announced today. There is a credible threat to public safety that is currently under Protector investigation. Citizens are only to leave their home for work and report all suspicious activities to their block warden. When pressed about the rumors of an Imperial spy living in Sector C, the Protector Public Office only repeated their appeal to citizens to report all suspicious activities to a Protector. I see ammo over there too, but there's two of these bitches. Okay, so we're back in the blue hallway. Interesting. <laughs> Get juked, bitches. Get juked. Okay. We're gonna go back to where the pipe were, because now we have the hand crank, so I'd like to use that up to free up some inventory space, because uh, inventory space is absolutely at a premium at this point in the game. We also need to stop back at the... Um, like, we can deposit these, and that'll give us, like, all this. That'll give us three more spots. So, we need to go... Here. And then we can deposit some of this extra ammo that I'm not using right now. Oops. Wait, no, wrong one, wrong one. This and that. And then we can go do the pipe shift thing. The pipe leak. Which will free up another inventory slot. Okay. Perfect. So that's a door. Okay, let's check this one first, I guess. It doesn't really matter what order we do these things, because we're going to have to do them all eventually. Acetone? Sure. Defective. <laughs> a lock is defective. And meat grinder. meat grinder seems to be broken. It looks safe to drop through to the floor below. No! Let's not do that! Okay, so there's no door there. We might drop down the meat grinder later, but as for this moment, we're not gonna do that. Blue diskette. Ammo. Okay. So blue diskette. What do you mean I can't carry any more ammo? A blue magneto optical data storage diskette used for use in office computers. There's no label in the disk apart from the manufacturer's mark. A bottle liquid dimethyl ketone can be used to dissolve and clean up plastics, epoxies, and paint. It's propan propanon. CH32CO, common cleaning product used to soften as all series plants, paints, and plastics. Okay. Good to know. Might need that later. You sure you don't want to jump in the meat grinder? It seems like a terrible idea. Power or no? Right? I mean, I would be fine, but I think that it would be painful. Yes. 
Blue diskette. Okay. Uh, antenna. Oh. Okay. Read me. Due to the power rationing, only a limited number of antennas in the grid are powered at a time. To determine which antennas are currently powered, use the antenna program to triangulate the correct antenna. Take note of the antenna where the test signal can be heard in on both dishes. In the transmit program, enter the antenna number and select the correct sound file to broadcast. Oh, set my frequency to 125. Okay, I gotta set this to 125. Make sure you know. Hi, Master Midnight. God damn it. Let's see. OS, it was updated and wanted to update. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. So probably 43. Okay, so number 43. Oh, we don't know what we don't know what to send yet. We don't know what to send yet. Okay, turn that off before I go insane. I'm gonna put the paint thinner away for a hot minute. We're gonna save here. The sound of scratching, yeah. Look, I think we're making a lot of good progress, though, aren't we? I mean, I feel like we're making progress. Okay, so. Let's go back. All right, so I guess we can go to the garbage chute and collect that last bit of ammo, maybe? I think I want to go do that. I want to get that last bit of ammo just because I don't want to have to go back. Actually, that means I need to go deposit ammo so that I have slots for ammo. <clears throat> the sound your last brain cell makes when you zone out and convince yourself that you forgot how to drive. Oh dear. I, I will say, as someone who drives for a living, uh, autopilot is amazing. When your brain is just like, hey, I know how to drive. It drives for you. We love that for us. Okay, so let's grab the ammo. Perfect. Okay. All 
All right, so next up, I'm amazed that I figured out all the Silent Hill section puzzle. Let's go to the commercial corridor, maybe? See what's in here? Backyard. Garbage containers. Oh, so we need a code from this. Okay. It's still scary when you remember leaving the place and then you suddenly realize you're parking, you don't remember anything in the middle. Yeah, I get that occasionally where it's like, wait, when did I get off the highway? Good to know. Okay, so that hallway was a bit of a bust. But now we know. So we also need a keypad that we don't have the thing for. Okay, so. We need a keypad for that. We don't want to go down to the meat grinder just yet. That's the save room. I guess we can see what this does before we go downstairs. before we go downstairs, and then we can go back up here and, like, see what's going on with this hallway. Because I have a feeling that the thing that's in the atrium is going to be important, and I feel like there's a file we missed in the dark apartment. But I'm not 100% sure. You stopped having that when you started listening to Critical Role audiobooks when you drive? Oh, I miss kind of doing that. I miss listening to Critical Role while I drive, but I have so many VODs that I have to get through all the time now that I just don't have time. I just don't have time, chat. I need more time in my life. I don't have enough. I, I didn't actually need to go in here. Also, does this door open? It does. Ah, oh, fucking heels, thank you. Oh, it's a painting, huh? It looks like there is a playing card embedded in the paint of the painting. The paint layer is too thick to remove the card without dissolving. God damn it! If I had had the fucking acetone, I could get through this puzzle without having to backtrack. Motherfucker. The only time... You only have time because your driving job, ironically, is 60% walking to the cars you have to drive. Oof. You want to trade? You got too much time? See, the thing is, is I have so many videos that I... God, this... I could sit here and just... Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So, I, I watch my, my VODs while I'm at work, you know, in the car, and get through, like, clips and stuff, but I can't watch it at 2x speed because mobile doesn't allow that for some reason. It doesn't let you watch uh, VODs at double speed. So, like... I'm stuck listening to it in real time, which means that since my job is eight hours and if there's a lot of like getting up and leaving and, you know, I don't actually like, I'm not in the car for the entire eight hours. I don't have time to watch two episodes a day. So I usually get through one episode a day and then have like a little bit of extra time left over to start the next one. So I'm constantly like on the last moment of it. And so I don't have time to do things like watch Critical Role like I used to. Especially because uh, Saturday episodes are double length. So, you know, Monday I'm watching Monday's episode. Tuesday I'm watching Tuesday's episode. Wednesday is Wednesday. And then Thursday and Friday are both Saturday's episode. I kind of want to restart. Just that I don't have all this lost health, you know? Like, I kind of want to restart because all we did was go with the ammo and find out that those doors are locked. But like, we could have not done that. Oops. We could have done a lot less backtracking. If only I had known. Yes, I'll use the acetone. Okay, so we use the acetone. And 
this gives us pick up lovers, yes. Okay. Uh, a tarot card depicting the sixth major arcanum lovers. VI lovers. And it's two space lesbians. You're hungry? Can you get something to eat? Yeah, check the fridge. God, this just... <laughs> ah. Get to hear me whimper like a fucking dog kicking its leg. Ugh. Okay. Is there anything else in here? No, there's just the painting. I like how it's literally just called painting dormitory. I don't know what this card is for, though. Okay, let's go back upstairs. See if we can't do anything upstairs. So what rooms did we have access to here? So we do need to, like, I feel like there was something in the apartment, there's something in the dark apartment, and there's something in the atrium we need to get. Ugh. Let's see if we can't sneak past this. Nope. I feel like I can sneak around this one because it's like the darkness rooms. But what I need is up at the top of the room anyway, so maybe. Can I like trick? Okay. Okay, we did. We got it. Stolen document. Classified information. Space lesbians! Thank you, Pinky, for the gift. Space Replica technician to stall the eyes. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it, Pete. Carefully selected by Aeon, exemplary citizens of the nation are permanently cryogenically preserved in neural archives, each becoming a neural pattern for a new replica model. To preserve the image of the replica as an incorruptible ideal, the original gestalt is erased from records and public memory. During the production process, when experienced bioresonant technicians copy that neural pattern to a unit, new unit, a majority of episodic memories are altered and suppressed. When the resulting replica maintains the skill and personality virtue of the salt, it will be an incapable it will be incapable of specific events from the life of the donor and under normal circumstances. This ensures the replica performs its duties without distractions created by personal memories of the donor. However, even the best maintained replica unit will eventually be exposed to stimuli that may cause gestalt memories to resurface. While units degraded in such a way pose no particular danger, like all units with personal degradation, they will eventually lose many of their advantages over gestalt workers. Because persona degradation is usually difficult to identify from the outside, bioresonance is used by command units to surveil units under their command. Generally, it is recommended to swiftly decommission and replace the unit so you further productivity decreases and then you get to show clear signs of individuality. When ammunition is rationed, alternative ways of decommissioning may be deployed at the discretion of the local operational command. Ow, bitch. Okay, this shit's kind of fucked, yo. Metal debris cut in labels netting. Yeah, I know. I want it. Oh, that door is locked. Can I not get this metal debris? I want this debris. I feel like it's important. Cameras are still working, though. The netting is too weak to support my weight. Oh, oh, okay, that's, okay, I see. So I need to, like, put something on there so that it'll break, and then it'll drop downstairs. Okay, that's, I get it now. So that door was locked for now. We still don't have the magpie thing, but I did want to go into the apartment and see what's in there. Oh, 
because I'm pretty sure there's some shit here that I need. There's no, no, no. Both of you come down this way. So the atrium is the tough spot. That door is locked right now. This door is locked right now. Labeled room zero five one two. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So those are. What do we? I don't know what key we need for that one. Maybe we do need to jump down into the meat grinder. I feel like that's the only thing we haven't done, aside from the magpie thing. But I don't know the. I don't know the solution to the magpie box. What's? I don't know the solution to it. If I knew the solution to it, I would, but I don't know the solution. Maybe... Hmm. Alright, I have an idea. I have an idea, chat. It's a stupid idea, and it's probably wrong, but it's my idea. Okay, magpie, send. File has been sent to antenna. Is that 43? All right, we're gonna see something. Oh, cause it only goes to 50. Okay, so the thing that I'm thinking of cannot be correct. Thank you for quoting that. That's actually a really good one. Better get more parts? Yeah. Okay. The sound of scratching? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out this, this puzzle, you know? So we know this is 43. Let's set this to 210 real fast. And see if it makes a different noise. Okay. Magpie thing it is. Ouch. Liz! Welcome in! My fate is sealed! Hi, Golden! Hi, Frost! How are- oh, this was a bad idea. Why did I do it this way? How are you? How was your stream? Hi, Ronan! Hi, Strawberb! Oh god, I see I see a knight, but I can't see because it's cut off by the raid message. How are you? How was your stream? Hello, quiet side. Welcome in everybody. My name is Hanetto. We are currently Oh good call. We are currently playing a game called Signalis. This is a horror game, so this is your warning. There is a lot of horroring. Horroring? It was full of lots of screams. Nice. And Tato. Uh, my name is Sonetto. I am a local idiot cat girl who plays a lot of video games on the internet and says a lot of stupid things that get quoted. Like me saying, it's a stupid idea and it's probably wrong, but it's my idea. Which was our newest quote. And thank you for the follow. And hunt hard carry. I try. I'm looking forward to playing hunt later. Alright, hold on. Pick up the store key. Yes. Store key. Check. Star. Yes. But yeah, we're playing Signalis today. It is a uh, lesbian space horror video game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Thank you for the follow over, Bert. 
welcome it. Currently making a mess on my desk is what I'm doing. I was. Um, I'm having some fun with this game. It's, it's very good so far. I'm enjoying it a lot, uh, though it is occasionally a bit trippy, which is a good thing. All right, let's see. So we got, we got the star card. Yeah, who doesn't love space lesbians? A metal key level D Yong photo store. Okay. Do I have any room left? I don't. Damn. Okay. Well, at least we figured that puzzle out. Yeah, who doesn't love robot lady space lesbians? I love robot lady space lesbians. Do a good pain in my ears? Uh, it's a very much kind of like an old school Resident Evil Silent Hill game in a lot of ways, where there's like inventory management and a lot of zombie style enemies that you can just kind of run past if you're, you know, patient. Or impatient, depending on how you feel at the moment. Uh, with like a safe box where you can put the extra stuff in your inventory. See, look, look at the pretty space lesbian. Look at her. What tier was Robot Girl on the Monster Girl list again? I don't remember. Block Ward. It's your duty to report suspicious elements immediately to the Block Ward. I don't remember. I like Robot Girls. Okay, so we've done Magpie already, which means... I guess I can switch to Polytone? And maybe if I have to, I can switch to Bells later? Alright, I'm gonna put these two cards away, because I don't know what they're for yet, and I need the inventory space. Not as much as Demon and Dragon Girls. Look, demons are hot. Shut the fuck up. I will not be taking questions at this time on that. Okay, so where does this key go? Thank you for the follow, Mystery Pro. Welcome in. Young Photo Store. Or ever, really? What? I don't remember what I said. No questions, only statement. Demon, space demon lesbian robots. Name a more perfect woman. <laughs> this is this is what you're in for, Raiders. This is what you're in for. Holy crap. What what what? 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 Yes, no. What can I do for you? I will not be taking questions this time or ever really. True. You said name a more perfect woman. Listen, it's not it's not that's not how it works. The combo I mentioned is holy crap. Oh, okay. Also, as a heads up, we are like eight-ish hours into this game. So it's probably going to be spoilerific at this point. This was... I don't remember if these doors were locked. Okay. Why is the caps lock key open my map? Um... Those are both opens from the other side. Never mind. Never mind. Let's go jump in a meat grinder. The combo you mentioned is just draw an eye. Don't call me out. You're not wrong, but don't call me out. This was locked, right? Yeah, that was locked. Okay. All right, chat. Are you ready to jump in the meat grinder? Whee! Zahn. I wish I spoke German. I really do wish I spoke German because there's like a lot of stuff that I feel like I'm missing because I don't speak German. You're pretty sure that's in my job description? Fair. Heal myself. Me grinder sounds like a really bad sex toy. Don't say that out loud. Pick up the tower, yes please. Why are there teeth? Chat, why are there teeth here? Why are there teeth? And rations? All right, million starve as Imperial blockade continues. The better question is, oh God. Me grinder, so they used to call me in college. What's your question, burb? Just call it the red, <laughs> do not mention the red tornado. Why aren't there teeth, Panscrab? Don't mention the fucking red tornado. You were banned for that. Not actually banned, but you know. 
Due to, ongo due to the ongoing transit of kits, ration shipments to Veneta have been disrupted by Imperial forces again. Millions of Yuzin citizens must starve for yet another month as Imperial missile frigates in kits orbit critically damaged orbit critically damaged one of our humanitarian convoys on their way to Veneta, sending diplomatic efforts with the Empire into another crisis. I don't like how topical this is to real- Do not, Pinky. Do not. It is an actual medication? Oh, medical condition. I was like, medication? I think that was a horror movie, yeah. The Urita Kits- Kites will continue to block free travel between Veneta, Rotfront, and Haymat for another eight seasons, which leaves our liberation troops on Veneta stranded on the desolate ocean world with minimal support. Convoys will continue to be sent despite the Imperial blockade. Only through perseverance can we rebuild what remains of Veneta. This is way too topical to real life chat, and I don't like it. One, four, five. Okay, R warning, warning, warning. It's going to get real loud, real quick. There is going to be a shrill sound. So this is your warning, okay? I, I warned you. Disturb. I'm gonna die. I need I need another code. I need another code. Give me another code. Sturb. Oh. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave before I die. Jesus. Pick up the developer fluid? Okay. What abyss do what there's things like where are you maybe yeah like just you sounds i just figured i should give a heads up oh god there's all sorts of shit under my desk hold on i just figured i should give a heads up that it was going to get really loud because i know some people are like sensitive to that kind of thing and i was trying to be polite you know i was trying to be polite because i know that you know if you have your headphones turned up it's who are you? Yeah. Photo fix. Yeah, I was just, you know, trying to be polite. Oh. People's Army, 5th Venetian Infantry Division, Unit 12. Fukuyama Burgit, Hoang Anna, Ito Lilith, Liang Rebecca, Win. Win? No, Win? Elise, Park, Notburga, Seo, Alina, Wong, Helena. It's just, it's just this, it's just East Asia. Like, what the fuck happened? Lock is defective. Okay, so we've gone into the photo store. Oh man, it's not gonna be fun. Yeah, dystopia. Oh god, okay, more more loud noises. More loud noises. Okay, so that takes care of the Yules. So that gets rid of uh the 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 girls. I have like no shit shit, I might die. I have very little health right now. Is that locked? Okay. National Post Packet Box, Packet Billing, a Matrix Code Scanner. Okay, well, I don't have any Matrix Codes. Nope, leave me alone, bitch. Okay, so we need the scanner for that. You've got to head to bed now, super sleepy, who have an amazing stream. Okay, thank you so much, Liz. Everybody go follow Liz. Go, right now, follow her. 
I'll wait. I'll wait. Do it. Do it right now. Do it. Do it. Follower. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> Have a good night, Liz. Sleep well. Sleep dreams. <laughs> Okay, so we unlock the door. I think this lets us back to the main. It does. Okay, so we have access to the main atrium now. Ow! But why? Let's go save. Because I desperately need to. Because? Schwirmy? I don't like it. I don't like it here. I feel like I need to keep all those things. We do love the gummy worms. I kind of want some gummy worms now. Chat, will you buy me one of the big three foot long gummy worms? Okay, so let's go back downstairs. What? Have you not seen those? The big three foot long gummy worms? The most painful thing about this game is the bright red save screen. Not the horrible ear penetrating dis like disaster noise. I'm gonna say this bitch should not be able to see us. She has no eyeballs. Do we check that door? We did, it was locked. Gummy peed? You're a 10% by default? Oh. I see. Okay, so let's see. I'm trying to not aggro any of these fuckers. Okay, that door is not usable. So let's go in here. Three inch gummy worm in your pants pocket. Oh lord. I gotta repair. Oh, there was another save right here. Pick up the patient key. Oh, this is the room. Okay, so this is for the 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 five twelve room. Got it. Okay, let's let's heal. I feel like I am burning through healing items. Hi, Pie Man. How are you? I hope you're having a good day. And yes, there is a lot of blindingness in this. absolutely take fucking ammunition <clears throat> doing well i'm doing okay i'm i'm having fun playing uh space lesbians the video game we love space lesbians uh, the video game uh, i love space lesbians the video game slightly less all of a sudden okay hold on where was the room that needed the key? Was it upstairs? Yeah, it was upstairs. Well, shit. Ow. <laughs> I'm having a bad day, chat. I'm having a get stabbed a lot sort of day. I don't like being stabbed a lot. Surprisingly, it puts kind of a dent in my day. I think there is a post-apocalyptic robot lesbian game on Game Pass, kind of that, like a Metroidvania. Ooh, let me know. Thank you for the follow, your femboy puppy. <laughs> Welcome in. How are you? Are you my femboy puppy? Okay, use the patient key. Alright. <laughs> what a name. We love names like that. Dream Diary. Six tonight. I dreamt I was an Imperial farmer. I embraced my lover in the red deserts of Kits when a storm consumed us, the sand grinding us down until nothing remained. Thirteenth night. I was a worker in the mines of Lang. When I was consumed by a shapeless mass of flesh, my flesh joining with the flesh of many others until only my bones remained. My mind joined the collective of flesh, 
with, which persists beyond death. Sixteenth night. As a storm raged in the sky, I fell from a ruined skyscraper on Veneta. But I never reached the ocean below. I kept falling when suddenly lightning struck the building, and I woke up. I was Eighteenth night. I was floating in the sunless sea below the ice of rot front when I saw a large creature move in the darkness below me in the moon's dark core. Nineteenth night. I saw a burning eye in the sky above the clouds of beyond. I was walking through the floating imperial palace when the gaze of the sun like iris burned my body to ashes. Okay, this bitch is having bad dreams. Ah, shit. All right, I need to go get all of my stuff. Because we have some of these cards already. We don't have all of them. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, chat. Ow. Thinking that I'm sick of dealing with this. I couldn't find her to stomp on her. I couldn't... I'm just... I'm tired of, of redoing the same hallway over and over again. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna kill him. I'm just gonna deal with the enemies and not have to worry about it anymore. Okay, so let's retrieve the tarot cards that we have. Because we have three of them. It is out of Game Pass. It's called Unsighted, made by a Resilient Team. Interesting. Interesting. Was that there before? That wall of flesh wasn't there before. That is pretty cool, though. Gee. Okay, so. So, the planets are what matters. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, Vinita is going to be the tower. Okay. We know, we know that because that's when she fell off the skyscraper. So, Kits is the lovers. Kitez. Is the lovers. Okay. Um Minor on the Minor and Lang. Ruined skyscraper tower. Sunless sea. That's the moon. That's the sun. Wait. Okay. So flesh. So that's the death card. The Sunless Sea is probably... Okay. Kits, we've, we've done. Lang is... Lang is death. We've done Veneta already. So Lang, Lang is death. Um, Rotfront is moon. And Buyan is the sun. So we have we have Ling, Rotfront, and Buyan. So Ling, Rotfront, and Buyan, which means High Mat is gonna be the stars. Because it's gonna be the one that wasn't mentioned in anything else. So that's that's our process of elimination. So we have three of these done. Interesting. Okay. So, we still can't access that. The alley just gave us a shortcut back. So, it looks like... You like how the map calls it the meat room? 
Yeah, it is. The meat room. Okay, so we can't go there. That's locked, question mark? We need something to do this still. See, the problem is, is that I feel like we've been everywhere that we can be with the things that we've got. We still need a couple... Like, there's still a couple puzzles that we can do. This should be blocked off now. But, like... Scanner pack station... So, the backyard keypad. Computer still has something to do. This is grayed out, which means that we finished it. Where the I liked it better when it was red and, and gray. Where do I need to go next? We don't have anything for that. Well, you know what? Let me go back to the same... go back to the save room for a minute. I'm gonna see what's in our inventory that we haven't messed with. Wait, why are you still here? I killed you. Okay. Okay, so what do we have in here? So we still have the quick developing fluid. These are just ammos. Okay, so we don't really have anything else that's like, you know. Okay. So we don't have the keypad code. That door is locked. It, it does sound like Among Us, yeah. I wish there was a thing that was like, hey, you missed something here. I gotta figure out what to do with this atrium piece. Because there's the netting. We haven't figured that out yet. Um, question. Anybody who's played this before, do we have any clues for me? Like, uh, a hint, maybe? Just for the purposes of pacing? Because I am stuck. Because we don't, we don't really have any... Like, we don't have anything that's very useful right now. We really don't have anything that's super useful. Like, without me going and checking all of the doors that are in, like, potentially dangerous spots. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let me see something. Moon murals. Oh. Hmm. Looks like a dial is missing. Okay.
What about that the code is the last four digits of our citizen number thing? That's true. We haven't found anything that has, like, citizen numbers, have we? Have we? Machine gun. Alright, hold on. The locks inside will take at least a great time. Pleasant key is done. Nice has the only other key. Okay, so we got the photo store key already. Imperial spy. Local. Okay, okay. Bookstore keys. I understand that you need the entry into the bookstore on your patrol. From Ito Betcher. Spare key in the front door. However, you can use the back entrance to get into the store and secure the keypad. The code is the birthday of my daughter. Note, we were born in Veneta. Last six digits of their PZK numbers. Okay, so that's the backyard one. Where do we find the PKZ numbers? Like, where would that be? Where would a PKZ number be? I, I'm kind of stumped now. Yeah, that doesn't have anything. So there may, that means that there's like a, a note that we haven't gotten because I've been running and trying not to kill anything. I think it's time that we start committing murder. In slightly higher degrees. I think it is time. What do you think, chat? Is it time to start committing murder? Like this bitch. She better fucking stay dead. Alright, we're gonna carry the flares around for a hot minute because the flares will just burn them. And we can get rid of some of the more tough enemies like that. We don't need the grenade shell. We do want the signal flare, though. Yeah, that was a grenade round, yeah. It was a high explosive round. But I don't know if it counts as having burned her. You know? So I'm kind of afraid of that. all the ammo we had. That's okay. One shot bounced off her shield, though. Figured I'd put her out of misery. Oh. Door is blocked by massive flesh. There's no way through. Interesting. So that door is now blocked off. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, she she do be a wiggler.
What? Can I not even get up there now? But there's a door that I hadn't done stuff with. Okay, that's horse shit. Ugh, crap. Plastic container for developing photographs. This label indicates that an undeveloped photo is inside. Oh, okay. So this this might actually be the thing we need because we have the developing fluid. So let's go get that and combine them. And that might be the thing that we need for this. That might give us something. Potentially back on track. It'll give us some information if nothing else. And we do like information. Ah, this is for the photo. A photo that was inside the developing tank. Yeah, so this has a QR code, which means that we can go to the post office thing now. The post office was downstairs. We can do that easy from the atrium. And that should give us whatever's in the post office. And then whatever's in the post office will probably unlock the next step in the, in the system. So let's give this a shot. Yes. Okay. Pick up the sun card. Very good. Leaving. I've been found out. I'm sure the white-haired girl working at the photo store in Sector C is bioresident. Be careful. They don't pay me enough to take any more risks. I'm on the next ship to Ketz tomorrow. Meet me at the docks in Sector N if you want to bail too. Sun. And then that's grayed out, so that's done. So we also have the sun card now. Okay, so that's one more piece done. Let's go put that in the thing. We'll, we'll go put that in the thing, and then I think we'll save. And then we'll, we'll take a little bit of a, I just saved so I can be stupid and reckless and run around and try to find stuff. So let's go put that upstairs. Hope this bitch doesn't get back up. I definitely feel like we're making some progress. It doesn't it doesn't feel like like before when we had several puzzles all going at the same time and it was kind of easy to figure out which was which. So let's see. This was on page Five was Buyan with the Sun Lake Iris. So Buyan Sun Card. Hi Rosie, how are you? So we need the Moon and Death card now. How you doing, Rosie? Good. I'm doing okay. Slowly trying to piece together the puzzles here. Okay, so we're gonna go save and then do a little bit of a who gives a shit I just saved run around where we can waste ammo and metagame a smidge. Is there anything else in here? Nope, just death. Just death. My impatience getting the better of me, you see. I can go and deposit this, I think. So we don't really have any puzzle items at the moment. We have nothing for puzzles right now. We we are we are done off with puzzles at the moment. Okay. So let's go see what rooms are currently accessible and which ones may be inaccessible thanks to weird growths. We can't do this puzzle because we're missing a piece. Um 
Actually, let's go to the commercial corridor. be open. There's nothing here. Excuse me, ladies. Wait, there was a note there. The red eye. There exists a strange folklorish idea in many sectors of Rotka related to periodolia, a tendency to see meaningful images in random patterns, like seeing a face in an ink blot or letters in a smudge of dirt. It is well known that the so-called red eye is simply an anti-cyclonic -cyclo storm produced by a high-pressure region in the atmosphere of Rockfront's planet. Yet for some of the early settlers in Rockfront, this natural phenomenon became symbolic of their struggle and way of life. The red spot in the sky became a perfect metaphor for the ever-present surveillance by the protectors and the tight grip of the central government of Onheimat. Even today, the idea of an unblinking, watchful eye observing their every move still resonates strong with the people here. During the celebration of Mon Fest at the end of each season, adult citizens will sometimes give students rationing marks that have been dipped in red paint. Officially, the red paint is said to represent the blood of those who died in the revolution. But the red coins share an eerie resemblance to that red eye. Or is this just Harry Adolia, too? Big Brother is watching it. Should you ever receive one of these red eye ration marks, remember to clean off the paint with acetone or similar paint thinner. Spending or regifting paint covered coins is considered to bring bad luck. Oh, there's a ladder that takes me up. Intra 22228. 228. Didn't know there was a ladder that went up. All right, your ears, chat. It's gonna get loud. Exit, and enter. Oh shit, what was that? Was that 172? No batteries or wall cotton candy, CID bagels. I'm sorry. Thank you, Master Midnight, for the scream. It was 171. Okay, it's gonna get loud again. Just a heads up. I see her there. Oh, good heels. Okay, I needed that. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we're in an apartment. We are way the fuck out here now. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Alright, we have a whole nother hallway to fuck with now. good. This is good. Thermite flare, sure. Pick up nitro ammo, sure. Elster. What other ones were there? I figured it would be Yule. Because the music playing is the music that the Yules listen to. Bioresonance technology and its limitations. Classified. No other technology has shaped our nation as bioresonance has. Would we ever have been able to free ourselves from the stranglehold of the Empire without the support of replicas? 
Essential technologies like climate forming and inducing induced gravity would be impossible without bioresonance technology. I'm gonna take a drink real fast. Despite that, it feels like we've made little effort to really understand or replicate bioresonance effects with conventional technology. Our progress in the development of electronics and microprocessors has stagnated for nearly a century now as we focus solely on new ways to instrumentalize this barely understood phenomenon. Take replica production, for example. The process of duplicating a neural pattern from a gestalt donor to a replica of the brain is still not fully understood. How does synchronicity happen? Why is the duplicate imperfect? What happens to pre-existing patterns in the receiving brain? Recreating a replica purely with microprocessors and digital programming may be far out of reach, but I believe that we've become overly dependent on a poorly understood technology controlled solely by a few gifted individuals. It may not be long before we're back where we were under the Empire. Periadolia. There's a lot of periodolia being being done in here. So we need to figure out what's going on with this as well. I'm gonna put it back to Elster. You saw? Wait, A D L R? Adler! There's no D. Oops. Yeah, there's no, there's no. Look at the butterflies again. What about it? Because I can't, I can't interact with them at all. Very Adola. Oh, A, E, O, N, A, O, I, O, N, A, E, O, N, A, E, O, N. Oh, they're all pupas. Okay, we got the moon. Periodolia. I get it. A E O N. How is our inventory looking? Very full. You saw a video on some moths that was really pretty? No. I like moths. I think they're very nifty. <clears throat> oh, that bad. That very bad. Shit. Okay. Moths are Flynn's, they are. Moths are very Flynn. I like moths. I think they're just cute little guys. The game's like, here's your shit. Please stop being bad at video games. Okay, so you got the red diskette. I don't like that, like, all of these walls are basically blocked off now. And, like, this yellow room, we can't do anything with. Which sucks. So that's broken. That's broken. That's broken. That's blocked off now. That's just broken, so I'm gonna skip it. The game's like, hey, you finished the puzzle in here. Fuck off. You know? Okay. 
So we have a long road to hoe here. We still don't have that. That's still locked. We can go and put the, the moon or sun or whatever the fuck we just picked up away. Which means we only need one more tarot card. We only need one more tarot after this. So that's still blocked off. But it's still showing it as a blue door. I wonder if you shoot it. It doesn't matter. Okay, so which one do we pick up? The moon. Okay, so rot front is the moon. So we just need the death card from Lang. Okay. So, we still don't know how to do the atrium thing, which is annoying. This is done now. And this is all like blocked off because the butterfly room is now broken, that's broken, but we don't need to go back up here because the magpie box and all that is done. So there's no reason to get through here. Yeah, the netting is the big issue that we've got right now. On this floor, at least. So this is this is the upper floor. This is the middle floor. Metro station is the bottom floor. Okay, so... We did... Yeah. We did all of this. We still need to do the atrium. We don't have the key for that door yet. We have the diskette. Right, we have the diskette. Okay, so let's go do the diskette. That's that's our next step, is the diskette. I was like, okay, what can we do now? And then I realized. So we'll go do the diskette first. Because that's almost certainly our next step. So that's going to give us a couple more things here. Select an item. A red magneto optical disc storage diskette. Data storage diskette. Labeled patients archived. Inserted. Yes. Inserting. Okay, so this gives us MetaBank. You're back. You had to get some more work done and start looking and getting some business cards printed in flyers? Hell yeah. Oh, okay, so this is uh, the girls. The girls. The girls. Okay. Uh, we needed these. So we got... So that's hidden. Okay. That looks corrupted. It seems corrupted. Is that me? Are we... Is, or is that who we're based off of? Veneta. Oh, occupation shop assistant, so no. Mechanic. Corrupted. Antidepression ration was doubled. Thoracic back pains. Claims to be unable to take part in communal morning exercises. Oh, Ariane. Oh, her hair. White. Her hair's white. Um, insomnia, bruising, premature, achromatr achromotrichia. Doctor's notes removed. Repeated contact to chemical irritants during work. So, 560524. 560524. All oh, right, I can just download it. So 560-524. 560-524. Sabzi, write that down for me. 560-524. So I don't have to remember it. 560-524. 560-524. 560-524. 
five, six, oh, five, two, four. Okay, game saved. So now we need to go to the backyard keypad, which is just across the hall. Thank you, Sabzi. Five, six, oh, five, two, four. My, my memory is very bad, so if I don't, like, have it written down or I don't say it repeatedly, I will forget it. I'm very stupid. <laughs> Surprisingly. 560524. 560524. 560524. 560524. 560524. 560524. 560524. Perfect. Thank you, Sabzi. Okay, so now we have this back room here. Lead Song of the Gods. Banned. Possession and distribution of this publication is prohibited and punishable by the Fourth Cultural Protection Act. There exists a connection between all of us that few are fully aware of. A song that we all dance to, but few can hear. This deep vibration of the cosmos cannot just be heard and felt. We all resonate in harmony with it, shaping it, deforming it around us. Oh god, it's the force. Those select few who can consciously perceive it often fear it. Too oppressive is the sound of the stars, too invasive the noise of the unaware around them, polluting the song with their fickle emotions. But every once in a while, some are born that can not only hear and play this music of the worlds, but who can conduct it. Gifted individuals capable of manipulating the essence of the world around them. Many believe that the Grand Empress is such a being. Her immense will bent humanity into the empire of Yuzin and lifted us to the stars. It was her power that imbued life into the first of the machine servants that now carry the weight of the Empire on their carbon steel backs. Okay, nothing else to read here. Cutscene? Cutscene. I couldn't find her. I've looked everywhere. But she's not here anymore. I can't go on. I'm sorry. <gasps> oh no! sit forming mortals after my image a race resembling me to suffer to weep to enjoy to be glad and thee to scorn as i prometheus gave fire to man is sold a photograph of isa wearing a school uniform The picture is badly damaged. Pick up death. Resonant phenomena. Synchronicity. Phenomena that are meaningfully related yet lack a casual connection. We've yet to discover the true source of the ability of the mind to alter the physical world. Yet, creating physical phenomena remotely, simply by consciously or unconsciously willing them into existence, forms the basis for the entire field of bioresonance technology. Before the advent of bioresonance technology, accusal, or sorry, a casual correlations were often falsely interpreted simply as chance. Many phenomena, such as remote viewing, doppelgangers, or the poly effect, have since been classified as synchronistic phenomena related to bioresonant effects. The world we live in would be impossible without bioresonance, but its origins remain unclear. If it were truly a divine gift from outer space, as the late Empress claimed, why was she defeated by her great revolutionary, who had no such divine powers? Okay. 
unlocked the door. Okay, now we have to just get through this hallway. Ow. Notice you. I did notice you. I do notice you. Oh, shit. I see there's a body here now. Which makes me anxious, because I feel like someone's gonna, like, that's gonna be somebody we have to deal with later. Aw, oh, you bitch. Wait, what about the ring? What about the ring, Sabzi? Did I miss it? Was it there? The thing on the netting is the ring. Lover in the Red Deserts of Kit's Minds of Lang. Flesh persists beyond death. Veneta. Never reached the ocean. Kept falling. Lightning struck the building and I woke up. The tower. Is floating in the sunless sea below the ice of Rot Front. Moon's dark core. Sky above beyond was the stars. There was a ring on the ground in the main room. Okay, day. Let me go do that first, then. I guess the the netting had broken when I wasn't around. Yes, maybe. Oh, you're right. The light well above has been consumed by the mass of meat, releasing some debris that was caught in the nets above. Pick up the dial ring? Yes. Yes. Okay. But I still don't know what I need to do for this. I'm not sure what I need to do for this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go save and do an episode cut because we are at episode end time. So let me go save real fast and put a bunch of things in my in my box. I'm going to stuff my box real fast. Cuz I need some space. Okay, so it wasn't like a puzzle that we needed to to do to get to the ring. We just needed to wait it out. Okay, so let me do this episode cut real quick. Something you can stuff in a box pants grab. Ayo, hey, and that's where we'll end. <laughs>